Get a grip. Qualitative and quantitative analysis of a stylus use on touchscreen of transfer muscle activity and improved perceived comfort using grips. Presented by Ivanda Henry, Stephanie Richmond, and Nashra Shah. The design of handwriting instruments has been based primarily on touch feel aesthetics and muscle exertion. The previous studies make it clear that different pen characteristics have to be considered along with hand instrument interaction in the design of writing instruments. This should include pens designed for touch screens and computer based writing surfaces. Hence, this study focuses primarily on evaluating grip styles impact on user comfort and muscle activity associated with hand grip while using a stylus pen. Surface EMG measures were taken while subjects perform writing, drawing, and point and click tasks on a tablet using a standard stylus and grip options. Subjects were also timed and surveyed on comfort level for each trial. The preliminary qualitative results indicate that the use of grips is perceived as more comfortable than standard stylus use alone. We hypothesize that EMG results will correlate with user comfort and muscle activity will transfer from increased fine muscle activity to increased gross muscle activity with grip use. Work-related tablet use. As touchscreens become an integrated part of modern technology, their use in the occupational setting has dramatically increased. Workers are often using computers or tablets with touchscreens along with an accompanying stylus throughout their workday. Touchscreen stylus lack ergonomic design factors and cause worker fatigue. Due to the accessibility of a tablet, employers are currently substituting and encouraging the use of a tablet with a stylus over a laptop. Due to the ergonomic factors of using a stylus on a tablet may cause long-term muscle fatigue. Muscle fatigue is caused by repetitive movements, wrist positioning, and contact stress which can lead to cumulative trauma disorders. Background a cumulative trauma disorder, also known as CTD, is a health disorder arising from repeated biomechanical stress. CDD involves damage to the tendons, tendon sheets, related bones, muscles, and nerves. The ergonomic concerns of hand wrist CTD relating to our study are repetitive movements, wrist positioning, and contact stress. Purpose the purpose of this study is to evaluate the effectiveness of a grip on a stylus for touch screen use. Effectiveness is measured by a reduction in fine muscle activity and activation of gross muscle activity. Additionally, we qualitatively measured perceived user comfort of a stylus with a grip. Materials The materials used in this study was a 10.1 inch Samsung Galaxy tablet with included stylus, an adjustable desk, three grips, a surface electromyography with biometric data logging software, where the EMG data was recorded at a frequency of 1,000 points per minute and 100 millivolts. The four parameters that were used are a standard stylus without a grip, a standard stylus with the claw grip, a standard stylus with the stetro grip, and a standard stylus with the crossover grip. Grips for the experiment were selected by their availability in the marketplace. Each task will be completed with each stylus option in a randomized order with each participant completing a total of 12 trials. Muscles involved. The surface electromyography will be used to measure the muscle activity of each participant as they perform all of the trials. The quantitative data will be collected using biometric data logging software by Biometrics Limited. Bipolar surface electrodes will be placed approximate to the interiosis of the first metatarsal, extensor digitorium, and flexor carpi radialis for each of the participants. The electrode for the interiosis will be placed while the participant is holding a stylus to reduce the possibility of the electrode being accidentally struck by the stylus. The extensor digitorium and flexor carpi radialis 
will be determined by having the participant squeeze their fingers while the area is palpated for contraction. The electrodes will be placed lengthwise to the located contraction. The ground will be placed on the wrist of the same arm being measured. The analog output will be set at 100 millivolts at a sample rate of 1000 per second and an excitation output of 4950 millivolts. Methods. The purpose of the study was to qualitatively and quantitatively analyze the difference in comfort and muscle activity of a plain stylus versus a stylus with a grip. The study was conducted using a standard stylus on a touchscreen tablet. The objective of our study was to determine if using a stylus with a grip improves ergonomic design factors, reduces fatigue, and increases perceived comfort. For this study, each participant will perform three tasks using three writing grips and the stylus alone on the tablet. The participants will perform a writing, a drawing, and a point and click task for each writing instrument option. The EMG will be used to measure the muscle activity of each participant as they perform all of the trials. The quantitative data will be collected using biometric data logging software. Bipolar surface electrodes will be placed approximate to the three selected muscles. During the study, after each participant completes a task, they will rank the comfort level on a scale of 1 to 7, with 1 being least comfortable and 7 being most comfortable. After completing the study, the participant will be asked a series of questions regarding their experience performing, performing the trials. Qualitative measurement. Before beginning the tasks, the participants will be required to take a survey that consists of general demographic questions. Then, after completing each task, the participants will answer questions about their experience. Procedure. All participants will complete the same writing, drawing, and point and click task. Preliminary results. Qualitative. Our preliminary qualitative results consisted of six subjects whose ages range from 23 to 27, who were all right-handed, of which five were female and one male and all participants had previous touch screen experience. Based on the survey answers, Grip A was preferred for 4 out of 6 for both the writing and drawing tasks. Grip B was the highest in comfort for point and click tasks. Grip B was the shortest time for task completion. All participants preferred using a grip for any task than the stylus alone. Preliminary results quantitative. Quantitatively, three grips were used in junction with the EMG to measure variation in muscle activity. Participants used the stylus alone, then with grip A, grip B, and grip C. The EMG was used to measure the muscle activity in our participants while they performed each task. The bipolar electrodes were placed on the three chosen muscles that we had determined would display activity for the tasks. The preliminary data collected thus far has yielded inconclusive results. Further testing is required to meet our objectives. We have provided a sample of the EMG data we have been collecting. The values listed represent the average and highest muscle activities observed per grip per task. Discussion Ergonomics and the idea of engineering design plays an important role in the safety aspects behind this study. As touchscreens become an instrumental part of all electronics, styluses are becoming widely used. 
Standard salads lack ergonomic design aspects and cause fatigue to occur with use due to the repetitive movements and contact stress on the hand. With the results of this study, we have determined that grips increase user comfort. Current quantitative data indicate increase of in muscle activity with the use of grips due to change in hand positioning. Further analysis of our quantitative data is required to determine if the use of grips on a stylus has the potential to prevent musculoskeletal disorders. The principles of industrial hygiene help drive us toward a viable ergonomic solution for this problem. Currently, little data is available on this matter which we expect to be a widespread issue as technology evolves. Acknowledgement. This project has been possible due to the New Jersey Institute of Technology Department of Mechanical Industrial Engineering Resources, Facilities, and Faculty Support.